pagpapahabain. I mean, in their last game, they lost against um, Adamson. If they do win now, it would be better kung makabawi sila and they end the game in the straight sense. It's not like it's 23. 14. And that was a great set, by the way. Kara Acevedo putting it away. And still again. That's a legitimate block, says the umpire. Acevedo goes up top to Phil. Set back. Phil on the second ball. Good angle there made by Phil. Sweeping it off the hands of uh, the Lady Falcons. Vaso, number five scorer of the league. Sent back. Catalano opens back up to Jill. A good swipe of Tara. Now it's Jill waking up here and... That's right. Now, uh, let's see if itong Ateneo naman would be able to adjust based on the uh, instructions given by Coach Roger earlier. Bad reception again, eh? Now, this is um, something that... There you go. Oh. That's what we're talking about. If Jill comes alive, they become a tougher team. That's correct. And earlier, kasi, if you'll notice, what was lacking in the game of Adamson is that both their outside hitters weren't performing. And yes. we know very well that most of the time, dito binibigay yung bola and it's really pow in the middle working for Adamson. Lead back down to four of the service error by Lourdes Patilano. Tara Civet. That's wide. Five service errors, five points, and that's a five-point lead. That's what Coach Roger was talking about. It's just basically giving away free points to your opponent. Adamson looking to make it interesting here. Four points away from the from a win of the set. It's too close to the net. Adamson saving it. They're a little bit scrappier in this set right now. And set was a bit low, but it goes over. Jill off speed. Para again is there. Another over set. Adamson with a chance. They go to Powell. Oh, double contact. Double contact. And now this is where it gets crucial for Adamson because they have Pau Soriano and Jill Gustillo in front. And for Ateneo, this is the situation that they were trying to avoid. avoid but with the many service errors that they have committed, ito na yung sinasabi ni Coach Roger. They have reached this point na mahihirapan sila. And their blocking has improved too. And yung uh, Adamson. Nakakita na naman ang butas si Paul Soriano. Two points away. As we have a substitution for Ateneo Pahe coming in yes. for her Vasho. Avril Pahe, first time here in the game. Let's see if Ateneo can still salvage this. On seven. Well, there's a net violation error. I think it was uh, Zapanta. I mean, if Adamson did not come alive in this set, I I would be really shocked. Oh, yes. Right? I would really Very be shocked. Very unlikely. Yes. And For them to, to go down in three sets is just, to me, unheard of. Another net block. Pao, she usually likes it closer to the net. It's kind of a little bit of a struggle. It's okay. Actually, ang ganda ng, makikita mo yun, yung elevation niya and uh, ang dami niyang ball, either first line yes. or very sharp angle. Yes. It's because she likes getting yeah, it. Yeah. Set point. So they make it interesting here. And Ateneo's demeanor has now taken, <laughs> taken a 180 turn. Give away a free ball too. Penting looking to put it away. Nope. Ferrer saving the set. Kata doing what she does best. Penting off speed. Ferrer goes to Bea Pascual. Oh! Nope. 
They're all scrambling, trying to get the ball. Five-point lead, though. No room for errors at all for Ateneo. They're back to Bea. Zin was there. There's a little better movement for Paul Adamson. And even on defense, you see them moving better. Which is the usual yes. kind of game that we see from them. Not like the set number one and set number two. Well, as expected, we get extended here. Third set win by Adamson. We'll be back.